Sorry, boy, is recording. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Easy Gamers, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm back with a gaming video in English. So, yeah, I'm gonna teach you guys how to build a uh, iron farm in 1.19.4 in survival. Totally not survival because I'm not creative, but it's fine. Who cares? Not me, at least. So let's take a spot right here. And this farm has to be at least 100 blocks far from a village or a villager. So let's get started. One, you have to place. I got one, two, three, four, five temporary blocks, and a building block and a piston on it. A building block at the building, like at this building block. Yeah, I don't know. What I'm doing. I'll go like one, two, three. We have to place three building blocks. A diagonal building block like so. Wait, okay. I'm a lag so much. Let me say that. Um, wait. This has to be three blocks wide. Turning into that. Now we need to destroy that block. And then we have to go like that. And like that. So it will be like this. Now we need to add repeaters. Something like this. But we have to add red resin dust. Few repeaters. Another resin dust. Blocks. Need red resin dust like those. Wait, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I don't know what the steam thing is going on. I don't know. I'm just going to do that. Give me a second. Second. Yeah. I'm just putting my went on charging. And now what we will do is repeat something like that. Okay. Max sticks. Facing was there. We need to release a block somewhere here. Two by three block platform on these repeaters. We need to place beds facing. Away from the piston, the pillow should be away from the piston. Like that now comes in the glass part. We can take that. We don't need repeaters for now. And now, what you have to do is, uh, I guess you have to do like that. But first, we need posters and trap doors. Any trap door will compo uh, trap door will work. You have to place composters like so. And trap this on it like this, and then you have to build a glass platform which is two block size so the villagers can't escape. Something like this, you have to make it three blocks high. Yeah, so the villagers can't escape now. So I can do it. You have to make it three blocks high like this, so villagers have no chance of escaping anyhow. Now here, what we have to do, to do is we are going to do is we are going to do this. So we have to place a temporary block trap door here, um, another trap door here on this, another on this. You have to open it, and yeah, we have to do place this block, and we have to place a temporary block. Oh wait, not that. What am I doing? I have to place few blocks of temporary block here. One, two, here. One, two, three. Yeah, now the zombie can't escape. Now, what to do is add trap doors right over here. So the villagers can't escape now. Spawn in the villagers. Kill the baby villager, sorry, but you have to go. This little guy has to go. You know what? Let's just slash kill. Wait, I guess yeah, I have to set my slash spawn point, otherwise, I'm also gonna get killed. And then this build, I don't know where it will be, so yeah, I'm gonna kill and spawn back here. Perfect. Wait, slash kill, and then it all entities. Bam, now we're back. Now we can add villagers. We can build the drills, but I'm doing this. I'm going to do that. We need another red sword anymore. At the night, you can guys can add a zombie here. So let me real quick do it. But first of all, you have to add a few building blocks like this. I have to cover up the villagers. Something like this and leave this space open But before doing that 
Of course, we need to add a collection system. We're gonna make a collection system right about here. So we have to be very careful about it, okay? So we're going to add a chest, something like this, and hopper. These will come handy. Now we need to add a chest. You can add more if you want. I'm going to add one here. And we have to make fire first going into the chest like this. Now we need to, we can cover up the villages again. Now what you got to do, once you add the zombie, then you can close it and let's show it. For so now I'm just making it time slash night. We need a zombie spawn it. And of course you need a name tag so it doesn't despawn. So I'm gonna do it real quick. You can build it near, this farm will be perfect near your base because it's not worth it to AFK for an hour which gives only 300 iron but if you build it near your base which is far away from your village at least 100 blocks it's worth it because you'll play hours on minecraft and it will be working in the background so we'll have extra iron which is worth it you have to spawn in a zombie naming it for the bam cover it up and we can do the game slash time set D. And then we're gonna build like that. Now what we're gonna do is get walls. I'm gonna get any walls that I find. We just gonna build walls around this so the iron golem does not escape. Um uh please at least okay, this we have to do like that. And then so the iron walls are, iron golem does not escape and I'll meet you once I complete it. Bam! So it should look something like this. Yeah, the video is recording very good. We should, uh, the farm should look something like that now. You have to get sign, water bucket, and lava. Water bucket and a lava bucket. What you have to do is now place a. Uh, oh shit, oh shit, not that. Oh, okay, I know. I have to place a wall in between, like this. Place four signs, like that. Come on, break it. Do that, not do that. Of this, and then we have to do like thing. We have to add signs like this on the four side signs. We have two walls coming like on the hopper, and four signs like that. Now what we got to do is add a block like that. I have to add signs on top of signs like this. So yeah, let's get doing it. And the farm is almost done. It's pretty basic. You don't need so many materials. I guess it's worth building near it your your base, like building it near your base. Uh, until like your base is far away from village, at least hundred blocks. So we have that same. And we have to add a lava bucket right here. And then we have to add two water buckets in these corners and voila, the farm's done. You can just clear everything you have. And now what you got to do is bring a redstone torch. Go here, you can place stone like uh, ladders. You need ladders to get up there. So just remember to build it. I'm gonna build it like that far away from a zombie because I don't want to get smacked in the face every time I climb up. We can easily get it, your things from here. To start the farm, you just simply gotta go here, place a redstone torch in this corner, and boom, the farm's done. And let me just uh, see the farm's working. And this is pretty efficient until you have, you have it near your base and yeah here's the minecraft survival farm iron farm and 1.19.4 for you guys which is very easy and requires very less materials yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe like and share my channel i'll see you in a bit bye bye